I want to respond to your um, statement that we need to keep the law and that I'm uneducated. So I wanted to give you some scriptures because the scripture is the sword of the spirit and it is truth. The scriptures affirm that Jesus fulfilled the law as stated in Matthew 5 and 17. The law consisting of over 600 commandments served as a taskmaster, revealing the impossibility of keeping it in its entirety and underscoring our need for a savior. In Galatians 3.24, it states that the law was a our tutor leading us to Christ, recognizing that it serves as a guide pointing to our dependence on Jesus for salvation. Attempting to uphold the law without acknowledging Christ's redemptive work can lead to bondage. And that stated in Galatians 5 and 1. It also cautions us against being entangled again to the yoke of slavery, which is the law. Embracing Christ, however, transforms this dynamic. And we see that in Romans 10, 14, or actually 10, 4, which articulates that Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes, emphasizing that his righteousness becomes our righteousness righteousness when we accept him. Now through Christ, the requirements of the law are met on our behalf and that's stated in Romans 8, 3, and 4. And that highlights that what the law could not do, Christ accomplished and his righteousness is imputed to all believers. Embracing Christ isn't a license for us to just go out there and sin. Romans 6, 1 through 2 clarifies that and it says, Instead of it liberates us from the law of sin, emphasizing our newfound freedom through Christ's sacrifice. Now, Titus 2 and 14 reinforces this by stating that Christ gave himself for us to redeem us from all lawlessness and purity for himself, a people for his own possession and zealous for good works. Now, we, as a recipient of his grace, we find the motivation to live righteously, right? Not under the burden of law, but we are propelled by the transformative power of Christ's sacrifice because he died for us. So we adhere to righteousness becomes a outpouring of gratitude for the freedom granted through Jesus. So I hope this educates you and teaches you so that you don't try to bring other people under the bondage of somehow keeping laws and not the work of Christ.